just 250 copies of Elliot's Gold have been published, with the final product the result of much hard work and research by avid historian Roy. Well, the book is about um, what happened after the end of the Great Siege. Uh, all the standard histories finish when the guns go silent. This picks up the story afterwards, and it's actually a tale about what Elliot did to get the prize money for the garrison of Gibraltar for sinking the floating batteries. A bit different from politics and indeed accounting, uh, what inspired you? Well, I always had a, a love of history. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to read George Blower's books, and I always had a thirst to, to know more about Jib's history. And this particular episode isn't mentioned in any of the standard histories of Gibraltar. Um, and I've been writing articles for the Heritage Journal and other things, and I thought, well, I'll write an article for the journal. But then the more research I did, the longer it got, and it got too long. And so this ended up as a book. <laughs> and what was the most difficult part of writing the book? Well, actually, the most difficult part was getting together all the bits of information, because they're not all in one place. Uh, one part of the story is held in National Archives in Kew, the other part is the National Maritime Museum in, in Greenwich. Uh, the, there are bits of pieces all over the place, the bits in the parliamentary archives, the old bits of legislation. So you really got to hunt around, it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. The pieces are there, but you know where they are. Uh, and then once you get them, you can start piecing it together. So it was quite a challenge. Yeah? So this is your first book that you've had published. What's next? More books in the pipeline? I've always had an interest in Jib's economic history. I really wanted to research the early 19th century period after the 1800s. Uh, and so for my sins, I've signed up to do a PhD with Leicester University. Uh, it's going to take me five years, six years distance learning. Uh, but I will then get the, the academic uh, 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 discipline that goes into writing proper histories. Because let's face it, at the moment, I'm just an amateur. So that's my ambition. Uh, it's not going to happen tomorrow, it's going to take many years, but hopefully at the end of it, if I do write another book, it'll be about Jib's economic history. Elliot's Gold is priced at £20 and can be bought at the Gibraltar Heritage Trust shop at the Piazza.